going to start up the new recording. All right, so for anyone that's not familiar with this deck and what we're doing here, what we have is the normal Tron shell. We've opted out of a couple cards, and by doing that, it allows us to uh, play the card of the Great Creator. And this card um, makes us all activated abilities of your opponent's um, the artifacts of your opponents can't be activated. And the minus two lets us go get something, uh, an artifact from our sideboard or our exile that uh, we own and put it in our hand. Mm -hmm. The key here is that we go get fetch up Michael Synth Lattice, turning everything into an artifact, locking them out of the game. Unless they have a creature in play, they're just out of the game. Mm -hmm. um, so why don't we actually try out those changes? I'll try that out on stream so you guys can see it. Um, so why don't we move a Ballista to the side here? And a uh, worm coil to the side. We're gonna remove the thrag tusk and the warping whale. We're gonna add another claim. That way we have a full side that I'm looking for. And then we're gonna add the relics back to the main. I think they're very important right now. So we're gonna run the list like this. So uh, the other thing that's going on with this, in case anyone hasn't tried it out, I am using Blast Zone, which is the land that comes into play with a charge counter. You get to pay XX into it and then pay three mana to sacrifice and blow up each non-land permanent equal to that CMC, um, which is really useful for us. We can fetch it up, blow up you know, creatures, take out those damping spheres, those um, damping spheres or those stonies, stuff like that, without having to rely on, a, on something on the board. Um, we are running just three O-Stones, three worm coils and one ballista. My logic for that is that by having it in the sideboard, our Karn can fetch it up. On top of that, we're also playing a bunch of bullets in the side. Now, the rest of the deck is pretty standard. The four Karns, um, two Ugans, and then two Ulamogs. So that's our 60 right there. Um, in the Discord channel, they wanted to rename this deck. I'm fine with renaming this deck to Genitron. I think it's a pretty sweet name. And then on top of that, our side, we got three Nature's Claim, and then we've got a Graph Diggers, a Relic, a Liquid Metal Coating, and if someone's not w aware of what Liquid Metal Coating is, it turns something into an artifact because that's super relevant for the other thing that Karn does. It turns uh, an artifact, non-creature artifact, into an artifact equal to the CMC. Mm -hmm. So if they have a land in play, uh, we just use Liquid Metal mm -hmm. Coating if we can't use the lattice lock, and then just turn that land into an artifact, and then we plus Karn, and then we get rid of it. So we, every turn, we're just we're just taking them out of the game, like regular Karn would. Um, Crucible keeps us in the game, and Snaring Bridge is huge to keep them out of the game if they're on an aggressive plan. Filigree Familiar is something new that I've tried. It's a 2-2. Two -two. Um, you, when you have Tron, you can just get it right away, get it, get to life, block something, draw a card. So it's pretty sweet. And then the O-Stone, the Trinosphere, Lattice, Ballista, and Worm Coil. So let me export this for you guys and then i'm going to update that to the new list actually so i played the version you guys saw a second ago um like three leagues yesterday and it went pretty well we went four one um no we yeah we did one league yesterday i did i went four one with that so that was pretty nice um i went ahead and updated that and then I have the link here in case anyone doesn't have access to that. And then let's jump into a league. So yeah, I really like this deck right now. It, it does the normal Tron stuff, which is fantastic. On top of that, though, it, it gets to do this really powerful lock and then this really awesome toolbox engine. So... Uh, this is a slower Tron hand, but this is fine. We're going to be able to assemble Tron reasonably here, so. Looks like we're against Valakon.
Okay. We're just gonna pass here. We'll fetch a Patron piece. And next turn we'll do it again. What's up, Epoch? Thanks for joining, man. Post this to the chat. So we're in dangerous territory here. They are at five lands of play, six with this curve. They get one more. They can get uh, Escape Chef and go for the combo. Hmm, that's unfortunate. We actually didn't hit anything of much relevance. Should probably just drop the worm coil, but it's probably not good enough here. But if we go for like a stirrings, even if we were to get Karn, we couldn't do anything with it um, on the minus. Yeah, because everything would cost at least two. So we're just going to drop the worm coil and we'll pass turn. It's really considering what they want to do. Should be it, unfortunately. Yep, bring a light for four. The floating mana doesn't. They don't really need to do that, but they can. And as soon as we see those mounts, we can go ahead and wrap it up.
And that's it. Alrighty, so we don't need the relics here. Let's bring in the claims. And I think we're good with that side. No, actually, let's cut the Ugin for the other claim as well. Ugin's not going to do that much for us here. So has anyone else been testing anything new in the new set that you guys think is going to make an impact on Modern? And trying to see what other things people are coming up with. Got our uh, team's going to be traveling for an IQ here next week. So I want to be keeping my eyes open for any decks that uh, could pop up and uh, sideboard appropriately. Sahili and the Storm Cyborg. We just saw Sahili earlier, and that might be worth it, honestly. That one seems pretty interesting. Being able to just, like, you can just amass a bunch of 1 1s, and regardless if you're going off, and then that way you're already having that presence, even if you don't have your storms. Hmm, this hand's not quite good enough. Let's mull this. Similar situation here. We've got a map to find what we're looking for. Um, I think this hand, though, because we can for sure find it, I think we're going to keep this one. What do you think about doing with uh, Dread Horde Invasion there, Epoch? Reaper Quebec. You're brewing a turn two Gorios deck to breach and Master of Cruelties or Emrakul. That's what's up. We're just going to pass here. I like to keep the map... Um, there for us in case we do draw the other charm piece so then we're searching for eight pieces here okay we're still just gonna pass here Yeah, I really don't know what's going on with uh, the censoring of Karn. Unsafe for children to see, okay. <laughs> That's root of our opponent. We're professionals and we have it, so. We're gonna pass it to them and hopefully we're not dead.
How great for us. Hmm, are they not passing? Are they psyching us out? They got the green source bolting us and then scape shifting us? Ulamog is hungry. I just want them to pass. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Are they going to click us? They're going to click us. How rude. Literally not just gonna take the little log like Decided on it. So I think we just turn here. We got remand. Oh, they have a gate. Okay. Well. We need to run out the star. And yeah, we're gonna just hold up nature's claim for the star. We might be best off just cracking it now. So we have the for sure cast through just to gain the extra life. And then next turn go for the Karn. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. life total where I don't think they have lethal for us because they can swing to bring us down to 21 and if they play a land escape shift that should bring us down to 3 crumble to dust us. <laughs> Vast. 
that's real tragic. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh wow, how rude of them. I have tried being luckier, and usually, usually I am. So do we want to just run out Tron here into a counter spell, or do we just want to play the sphere, pass turn, and then crack the blast zone? That's going to set us back a land. I think we just go for it. Just looking for a single land and then we lose. That's probably it right there. Alright, that's gonna be it. Man, that crumble was good work there. We deaded. We deaded. This is great. We've got turn three Tron. Have a good night. Thank you so much for joining. Oh, that is you. <laughs> oh, that's funny. We're playing against Phoenix Crux right now, and he's playing the list I sent him. <laughs> Let's see who's the better Tron player. That's the best matchup in modern. <laughs> okay, so what we're actually going to do to him here is play Tron, get Karn, we're going to minus Karn. And we're gonna get liquid metal coating. Cast it. We're gonna stop on their upkeep. 
and we're gonna pass here and then we're gonna turn their tower into an artifact <laughs> uh. <laughs> So yeah, we, we turned their, their land into an artifact, so they can't do anything with it. So we'll take out the relics, we'll bring in the claims, and we'll take out the O-Stone and bring in the claim. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good one. I totally agree with their with the uh, Discord's channel decision to uh, run that. <sighs> We need to hit. We can't keep this. We'll keep this. We're just hoping to see if we're lucky. Otherwise, we'll just can't up with the spheres next turn. Yeah, the London Mulligan went away. Um, Sweetie is the one that told me about that earlier today. I'm kind of sad that it's gone. Alright, there is a good chance... We have one more draw and that's it. We could go fetch up Ghost Quarter and blow it up. That's not unreasonable. But we're going to be really behind after that. We did get the Tron piece. Hmm. So we have to stop them from doing what they're doing. Oh, we got another expedition map. That's great. So we'll map here. Get the ghost quarter. Play it. We'll stop on their draw and we'll pass it over. We've got duplicate Tron pieces and an O-Stone. We're fine with that. Let's see how lucky we are. That's a Karn. Karn's a bit awkward. Because I can hit the O stone for the for sure. Hitting the Tron piece doesn't seem to do much. Let's hit that. If they do have their own Karn, so be it. They'll have to hit our Karn if they do that, I believe, so... Six mana. Ooh, they got their own Karn. 
Is he going to do our own shenanigans against us? That's it's actually fine because we're we're just going to exile their card. So. Oh, he's going to sorcerer spyglass us. This is so bad. We need to hit a Tron piece. Like, it's not the end of the world, because they can't lattice lock us next turn, because we'll drop the worm coil no matter what. But we did just hit this. So, gives us the mana that we're looking for, for next turn. So we'll drop Worm Coil this turn. And we'll pass. That's a problem. They got Tron unlocked. Let's see what payoff they have. Because if, uh, if they have an Ulamog, that's game. I hope he knows he can't lattice lock us. Oh, he's going to go for Instaring Bridge. And that's fine with us. Because we're just going to cast uh, our Ulamog here. Okay, they've got their own Ulamog. So we can cast Ulamog. We can hit Ensnaring Bridge. And power plant. Hmm. He can't use Karn. Uh, Sorcerer Spyglass is in play. really just trying to decide how we want to approach this I think I think our best bet here is to cast Ulamog we're gonna hit their power plant and we're gonna hit Sorcerer Spyglass we'll use our Karn to exile Ensnaring Bridge and then we'll swing with Worm Coil at their Karn leaving them with um, an incomplete Tron set and they'll have a Karn at one
All right, we got that there. Sorry, Jeff. Uh, Falkov. GG indeed. GG indeed. You punted so hard, what did you do? This hand's not going anywhere. This hand's also not going anywhere. No, if you got Lattice, you would have not been able. So if you get Lattice, I'm just gonna swing with my worm coil at your Karn so that it would just die. You had a card in hand to sack the Sanctum to get Ulamog. Okay, never mind. That would make sense. get ourselves a power plant and we will hope to map next turn. Yeah, liquid metal coating does good work. I was I was really impressed by that card when it was first mentioned. I didn't give it enough credit and then I played with it once and I realized what I was gonna do. It was at the very least gonna lock someone out of lands and then start and then every turn after that it just starts landing. Alright, that Thought Seize is pretty brutal. Alright, we're just going to pass here. I want to hold up Blast Zone so we can activate it and take out that Shadow. Oh wait, we can't activate that Shadow. It costs three. So I have to get one more land. So I should have played that Spear. Well, either way, if you're playing the League through with it, how are you liking it? Are you... Uh... You find that it's uh, doing what it needs to do? Do you like the wish list setup that it has right now? Because that's my biggest thing right now. I, I'm not 100% on that wish list setup. Oh, 
All right, well, let me know which ones you do like or you don't like. To be honest, the only cards that I know for a fact I want in that side um, are the Graph Digger's Cage, the Relic, the Liquid Metal, Sorcerer Spyglass, Crucible, Ensnaring, um, and the Trinisphere and the Last. Those are like the for sures for me. I feel like they're in a great spot. Alright, we got the land, which is good. We're just going to pass this over. And we'll plan on cracking and taking out that shadow. Neil form was a lot of fun. We got to turn one kill at least once. Um, it went, uh, what, 3 2 and 2 3. Um, the 3 2 should have been 4 1 because I misclicked um, and punted the game. So it was a blast. Um, the first list we played also was incorrect. One of the uh, people in the chat uh, corrected me, and we got the better list going. And then after that, the deck did much better. I will have the videos for Neoform uh, up as soon as I get off here. I'm going to upload. I haven't uploaded the second league we did with uh, Genie Chandra today. i got to edit um, a section of it out. I'm having issues with the editor um, wanting to cut out more. So the uh, the two decks we have, the two leagues we had with Neoform tonight and then the league with this will be up uh, later tonight, though. I was willing to draw there because I hit a Sylvan Scrying, I could cast it. And I'm really just trying to get more lands at this point. If we can drop uh, any of our threats, we're going to be in a great spot. I feel like we're going to lose that Jace. It's gonna ult, then we're gonna die. Okay, they're gonna draw. Um, I don't think it's broken by any means with the current Mulligan rule. I think it's a much better contender with the London Mulligan because being able to see more cards, I think, with it is a big deal. And uh, even then, I think it's just because it's new and people haven't adapted to it yet. And because the deck is susceptible to um, hand disruption quite a bit because it needs quite a few cards in its hand to go off.
But I mean, even when we weren't turn one in, we were um, as long as we were hitting our lands, we we would turn two and turn three, and so that was pretty relevant. And then unlike unlike Rishul Ren, um, where when you go off, if you fizzle, you don't have anything left. This deck, when you go off, you're left with an eight eight Gristlebrand. Which a lot of times is just enough to win the game. So I, I, I am a fan of the deck. If you have the cards, I think it's a blast to play. Battle Rage. Next game. All right, we're not making any changes here. We're good with the list as it is. This is one matchup where I wanted the Chalice, but uh, I felt like Trinisphere is going to be doing a lot of the same things for it because it makes things cost so much anyway. Okay, this hand doesn't do enough. This hand's not getting there either. This hand's pretty suspect, and we'll keep it. This might just be over. <laughs> I missed the London Mulligan already. Any one of the Tron pieces here, um, we'd be pretty well off because we'll just be able to assemble it from that. Uh, any land, though, still lets us assemble it, it's just a turn slower, obviously. Let's do it the hard way. That's fine, because we've got backups.
Alright, that's a stub. Why don't we just... Mm -mm -mm. We'll go get a mine here. Not ideal, but I didn't really want to walk that uh, Sylvan Scrying into the stub, and then we're still behind a land, and then after that we'd have to expedition map and, put, and then try to play a land at that point. So this seems like a better route, just so we can get to. Uh, even if they get rid of the Sylvan Scrying here, we'll be we're only one man away from getting Karn out, so we can try to lock him with Karn. They're tapped out on their blue. So let's get the Sylvan Scrying out. We'll go get a tower. Do we want to go get a one drop at all? I don't think so. I think we're better off just running out Karn. And we're just going to plus Karn. And then that way they have to commit another card if they want to take out Karn. And if they do that, we'll just drop the worm coil. So I feel okay with our line here. And if for some reason they tap out their blue, we're going to be in a pretty awesome spot to just do whatever we want. Oh, they're just going for us. interesting so I'm dropping the worm coil for sure here then I think we're gonna play relic because I feel like that line might say they have a snap I want to get the Lattice, but there's a good chance they have a stub in hand. So let's minus. Or we can just drop multiple worm coils. Drop one this turn, drop one next turn. Well, we can drop one next turn regardless. 
So let's get the relic. See if a worm coil blocking is good enough. Ensnaring bridge seems good to lock them. See if that works. Make them question life as the witch Tron deck plays in Snaring Bridge. Aww. Stub. Alright, let's draw with this. This map. Let's crack the map. Do we get a blast zone even though we can't activate it? I think we do. Let's run it out and then we'll run out a star. So if they have another Battle Rage or a Snap Battle Rage, I think that's game. Yeah, Snap Battle Rage.
And no matter how we block here, we'll take a bunch of damage and die. So yeah, we could have kept ourselves alive if we just went for the expedition map and got Blast Zone just so we could play around that line and then gone for anything else the following turn instead of going for the ensnaring bridge because we were just one mana short of that. So I think we could have stayed alive if we went for just fetching up Blast Zone instead. So that's unfortunate. Actually, if we would have just fetched up the blast zone, we could have cracked it, blew up the shadow, swung with our worm coil. They'd be forced to block, or they'd have to stab, and then we would still be at 16, so they couldn't battle rage us. So we could have just put ourselves in a really great spot that turn. Yeah. I think I, I yeah, I, me I messed up that line there. Thinking back on it now, we could have set ourselves up in a really great spot. Alright, this has two Tron pieces and a couple of cantrips, so I'm good with this. It's got a hard mulligan, it seems like. Let's just ballista that on one. If they thought about it that much, maybe that hand wasn't that great. And they needed that land? Nope. They were cool with it. All right, the stirring's got to do work for us. Get us a Tron formation, then we can drop this Ugin, and uh, they'll have a really hard time. Nope. Not that cool. Let's do the O stone.
and we'll pass it over. That's good. We can render our O stone without worrying about getting it quelled. If we just hit the tower here, then we're really great. Um, do this. There's the tower, that's pretty awesome. Run out the O, so we'll pass it over. Okay, they're gonna take our O stone, we're good with that, we'll drop an U again, wipe the board. And we'll just be taking 5 down to uh, 13. And we'll also be able to follow it up with an Ulamog next turn. here and we're just gonna take out the relics bring in the claims and we're actually gonna take out a worm coil and bring in a claim as well Alright, we've got Natural Tron here into an O Stone, into an O Mug. I think we are good to keep this. It's everything we've ever wanted. Well, we'd also like a new get in a card here, but can't have everything. Damping sphere is pretty rude. Uh. 
We're planning on just playing the star here. <sighs> we're going to have to pass, and then we're going to go fetch up Blasting Zone, but that's going to take two turns. So we might be dead. Because we're taking six this turn. And I would imagine more next turn. Stony's also really rough. Stony might be the nail in the coffin. So it's growing, sure. Gonna get blast zone. And if for some reason they can't increase their bore by one more point, we can blow it up. So we can blow it up, but we'd only have like five mana afterwards. And we can cast the O stone, but then we die to these two here. So Yeah, we actually don't even Yeah. Let's run it back. Oh, that was rough. That was rough. That the damping sphere did so much work. This hand doesn't go far enough. This hand's fine. It's nowhere near where we would want it to be, but we'll keep it. Tower on top is fantastic. So then now we can have turn three Tron, and uh, we can stirrings that turn if we don't find a threat by then. Spear, of course. It's just stirrings. And we'll snag Karn. And we'll pass.
Don't he's rude. Can Karn down tick? I think that's our best bet, but it would leave Karn to die to anything. Or do we uptick to have it survive a turn unless they play a lord and then we downtick? No, I guess we just downtick. Because if worst case scenario they kill the Karn, um, then that's fine. We'll just still play in Snaring Bridge. I don't think any other card really does as much as what we want. Because um, Walking Ballista is already shut down. Oh, if we get last? <laughs> Everybody's just locked out of the game. That's funny. So Karn's dead. Next turn we go lands bridge. And we could choose to stirrings without grabbing anything. Just so we don't take a hit from the Geist. Oh no, we can't. Well, either way, we probably should just get this bridge out while we can. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> okay. That was bad. I mis I misclicked the three drop. I thought I clicked on bridge. I clicked on O stone. Now it could get quelled. All right, they're just dropping a lord. It's probably to our favor then. We're gonna take a big hit here. They can now ping us for one with the noble, because they play with the lord. Unless they've got a deputy of detention, then it's just game. <laughs> Unfortunate. Oh, this is no good. All right, well, let's see if we can get one more match win with this deck. Maybe this current iteration is not as good. The other versions we played, I did go 4-1 a few times, and then we went 3-2 uh, a bunch. This new version, obviously this is just our first league with it, but uh, going 1-3 so far is not great. But then again, the other thing is uh, the London milling is gone. So.
Hmm. I think we can do better than this hand. Let's mull. Nope, not this one. We'll keep this one. And we'll bottom that. coil for you if it's burn. Uh, the new mulligan rule, I think, was only for April, so it's gone now, so pretty sad about it in, as far as testing go. What's up, Zoc? Thanks for joining, man. Looks like we're against Mono Red Phoenix. Alright, we've got Tron. That's pretty sweet. So, let's go Sphere. Draw a card. Scrying. Mm, I think we're just going to grab Blast Zone here. Because they do have a bunch of one drops. Yeah, we played Neoform today with uh, uh, without the new London Mulligan rule. So it, it was still fine. We went, uh, we went three... Uh, 3-2 with it, and 2-3 uh, with it. And realistically, that should have been 4-1 uh, and 2-3. Uh, I could honestly see them making the London Mulligan a real thing, though. It's uh, It seems to be doing what the format wants um, as far as having less non-games going on. So... Run out this worm coil. Run out this. And we'll crack it now to get them off the faithless. And we'll pass. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on with the car after this. It's uh, it's pretty weird. Get another burn spell. Yep. Burn spell brings back the other arc light, and then they've got it. All right. Well, we want to keep it the relics. Um, everything else is fine to keep in the side. We'll fetch those up if needed. So let's submit.
This hand's not good enough. Uh, this hand's... Mull that. <laughs> We're gonna mull this. We're gonna mull that. All right, we've got a hand. We're probably losing. We've got a. We've got a one lander. I mean, I'm not saying we're definitely going to lose. I'm just saying it's looking real hard. <laughs> real rough. <laughs> Crush the Soul Scar Mage. That's a Blood Moon. That's fine. Hey, much appreciated. Uh, we still got some cleaning up on it to do. Um, move things around a little bit and then get the donations and the top follower back on. But uh, yeah, it, it definitely looks a lot better and definitely opens things up so people can see things much better too. And thanks for joining, Boston. Alrighty. Still can't hit lands. We're on two. Yeah, bringing in the claim, uh, the claims is definitely reasonable. Um, so then we can blow up their blood moon like we have here. So. And we're at one. And we're done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, that ended on a pretty bad note. Yeah, get, getting your own cyclist for life, too. Um, yeah, that's it for the stream for tonight. Uh, we did not end well with that Genitron list tonight. Um, just some bad beats and then some bad hands, and uh, I don't think... Uh, we were able to get there as far as we wanted to. Um, I'll upload all three videos up later 